All right, Corey here, and today I want to talk about Cotton, which is my new favorite component library for Django projects. And I'm going to do that by uh, hopefully refactoring this little page here to make these uh, cards use Cotton components. All right, so first let's just kind of look at the code for this page. And so this is a pretty standard Django template, and the interesting thing we're looking at here is we've got this grid here, and then inside this grid we've got a bunch of these sort of like card classes. And each of these is just kind of, you know, its own thing. Each one has a, um, a different image, a different title and um, description and links and everything else. And like, this is fine, but let's say I wanted to now like change all of these buttons to blue. Like I'm gonna have to go in and like, okay, I can change that to like a primary class, but I'm gonna have to go through all of them and update it everywhere. And so like, that's not great. And I know that I could do, you know, I could pull this out into a component and I could do like with, you know, title equals blah, 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 and then like do an include, but like, that's really ugly. And I just, it's, you know, it's a pain to, to do that all for, um, for all of this. And I think it makes your templates really ugly and it's just kind of hard to work with. So Cotton um, is this component library that basically solves this. Um, and so I'm going to show you how to refactor this page into Cotton, and it's um, it's really simple. So first off, you have to install it, and then you just have to drop this uh, Django Cotton app into your settings file here. Once that is installed, uh, you can start creating Cotton components. And the way that Cotton works, you just define your components in a special folder in your templates directory called Cotton. So let's make that folder, and now we're gonna put in a new file and we'll call this, you know, example card. And with our example card file, we will now take the, you know, we'll grab one of these guys essentially, and we will put it into here. Now, instead of referencing one of those, we can do something like C, example card, just like that. So let's see if that worked. Nope, okay, this thing uses a static tag. We'll just include that. And okay, perfect. So, so far, all we've really done is move this here. We haven't done anything interesting. So now let's go ahead and show how you can use cotton stuff for this. So instead of, you know, hard coding this thing here, now we're gonna put title, we're gonna put description, we're gonna put our image here, and maybe use our title for the alt text, and so on and so forth. And so now we can come back here and let's see if the AI did it perfectly. Basically stick all of that stuff in here, and boom. And so now we have Cotton actually generating this thing instead of, uh, instead of just having it hard coded. And what's nice about that, so I'm just gonna like, you know, I'm gonna show off my AI here for a sec, and I'll just say like rewrite all the components to use the C example card syntax. And so, Hopefully, if this thing does its job correctly, it will convert all of these um, all of these cards into uh, from their standard Django HTML into the Cotton components. We can refresh that, and okay. So, have we achieved anything? Uh, yes, we have because now I can go in here and let's say again I want to change the color of that thing to primary. And then boom, it'll update everywhere. Um, so this is this is really cool. It works really well with Tailwind. Uh, it, it 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 really it, to me it feels like it was the missing piece to being able to do sort of like componenty stuff in Django. Um, so I am really excited about Cotton. I think it's a great tool to have in the toolkit for Django projects, and I recommend everyone check it out. So yeah, that's it. 
I just wanted to share that with you and give you a quick overview. And I'll see you next time.